Okay. Um, we talk about factors and multiples of numbers. Okay. Uh, let us start with with a multiplication table, a very simple multiplication table of two. All right. That is where we are going to generate this idea of factors and multiples of a number. Fine. So this is a, 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 a table table of two. We have two times one gives us two, two times two gives us three, two times three gives us six, etc. etc. We have all these numbers here. So these are numbers which when they are multiplied they give us this. And so these are these are our answers here. We have, we have answers here and here we have numbers. We can we can rub this and write here numbers. Alright, so we have numbers and we have answers. So we have numbers here. So these are numbers. Two times three, I mean two times one is two and one are numbers. All are numbers, but these numbers are multiplied and these are the answers of the numbers in the left hand side. So we have numbers in the left hand side and we have answers in the right hand side. We can consider any table, you know, any table, but I just chose this simple one so that we can go quickly. Okay, now let us look at factors here. We have what we call factors or divisors. We have factors or divisors of a number. Okay, so these numbers, the numbers that we used to multiply gives us what we call factors or divisors. So numbers, numbers we multiplied the numbers numbers the numbers we multiplied as two and one these are what we call factors okay so these numbers are the factors of the answer okay so this answer here is 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 uh, I mean two and one are factors of two. So two and one are factors of two. So these two and one are factors and say that are factors of this two here. Factors factors of two. So two and two here, two comma two will be the factors of four. They are factors of four. Two comma three, these are factors of of three. Okay. I mean two and three are factors of six factors of six so they are factors of six so the same two comma four these will be the factors of eight factors here of eight or divisors of eight two and five you know, will be of ten and so on and so on so these numbers that we use to multiply to get the answer are called the factors of the answer. Factors of the answer. Okay, you see that. Right. Now, let us look at multiples. Okay, let us write here. Multiples. So, the answers, the answers here, you say, answers. The answers we got answers we got are what we call the multiples of the numbers we multiplied so six here okay see how it takes us to it takes us it's just like a, a round so two here is a multiple of two and one 
2 and 1 are factors of 2, but 2 is a multiple of 2 and 1. So this 2 here is a multiple, multiple of 2 and 1. 4, the answer of 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. This is a multiple of is a multiple of 2 and 2. 6 here is a multiple of 23. 8 is a multiple of 24, etc, etc. Now you see that numbers were factors of the answers and the answers are the multiples of the numbers. All right, now watch out, it should not confuse you. Numbers were factors of the answers, but now the answers we got are the multiples of the numbers. So factors gave us answers and answers are the multiples of those numbers. So this is what we mean by uh, factors and multiples of a number, okay? Factors and multiples of, of a number. So this continues and this also continues. So factors and multiples of, of numbers. Now this is a very, very simple scenario of, 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 of uh, finding the factors or divisors and multiples of a number by considering by considering a simple table like this okay now it's time to do some examples and give you some questions as well All right okay this is an example find all factors of 12 All right we are finding all factors of 12 now, we, what comes first is that if we have to find the factors of 12, this is our answer. So there are two numbers, all right? So we find all products, all numbers, a uh, pair of numbers when multiplied, give what? Give 12, okay? So what you do, you write 12 as a product of two numbers, okay? Write 12 as a product of two numbers. So we we'll say 12 is equal to 1 times 12. It is also equal to 2 times 6. It's also equal to 3 times 4. It's also equal to 4 times 3. It is also equal to uh, 6 times 2 and it's also equal to 12 times 1. Okay, so there is one trick you should know. For example, we started here is equal to 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Now when it, you see it, it starts to repeat. It started to repeat here 4 times 3, then it went again to 6 times 2. Now you draw a line here. Okay, because these are the same to this one here. But because we are not allowed to repeat the number when we write the, the, the factors of a number, we don't need to repeat the number. So what we do is when you see the repeats, you just draw a line like this. So you list these factors of 12. Okay, so we say factors of 12, uh, this will be equal to 1. So you pick this one here, you pick two, this one, you pick three, go around it, you pick four, you pick six, and you pick 12 itself. So all these are factors of 12, okay? These are the factors. You don't repeat again because you are going to repeat these numbers again here. So these are the factors of, of 12. Okay, now we know how to find the 
factors or divisors of a number. Let us look at, at multiples. Uh, find the multiples of 4, for example. <coughs> multiples of 4. Okay? So, multiples of 4, these are the products, are the products of these uh, uh, numbers in 4. Uh, they are endless. Alright? So, so we can measure, uh, we can just write down some few of them. So we know these are product of this number. So multiples of four will be uh, will be four times one. Multiples of four will be four times one, which is four. Four times two, which is eight. Four times three, twelve. Four times four, four times five. Four times six, four times uh, seven, etc. So they go on endlessly, all right? These are multiples of four. They go on endlessly. That is that is it. And um, now let us let us let us look at something else. Okay, it is now your turn. It is your turn to do some questions. Try these. Try these questions. You try. Is number one, um, find factors of all factors of mm, 12, find all factors of 12, 15, mm, 25, mm, 17. Number two, can call this A, this is B, this is C, and this is B. Number two, A, I mean not A, before A, you find uh, multiples, find multiples of A. Of uh, seven B multiples of uh, six between between multiples of six which are between uh, between twenty and fifty. Okay, so. These are yours to do. Make sure you do them thoroughly, and uh, we can just uh, go through once again. Uh, go through once again. Look at the examples. Fine, and then and then do these questions. Thank you for watching, and meet you in the next next tutorial.